I wanted to make a quick video showing you showing you my two models that I got right here of turbo this is a model I had a while back and I took it and I, well let me f first show you just real quick the difference in them this one has a whole lot more detail in it you can see and he's easy to move you see that I can move him pretty quick now the reason for that is because of these all the edges flow as you can see right there they all flow real good and whoever made this model really knew what they were doing let me show you this is the model I bought I bought him for $85 and I took him and I rigged him and everything and I ended up with this I ended up with turbo but yeah this is the I guess a body blank that I've bought to make turbo and you can just see it's designed real good well over here is the other model I got a turbo that I made just a few weeks ago click on him you can tell a whole lot less detail and you can watch the edges they sure they just don't flow like they do on the other one now at this degree of um, smoothness I can move him maybe even easier than I can move him he's a little bit faster but here's the thing after I'm through animating this guy I have to go to polygons mesh smooth and smooth him out to get him looking equally as smooth as this guy but now after I smooth him see there it's impossible to animate with him anymore but when you click on him after I smooth him if you follow all these edges you can see they don't flow like they do on this guy now here's the thing this model cost me more than this model buying this model that I made this model of turbo from cost about hundred twenty dollars but here's the reason it costs so much because it was a uh, it was a model of Arnold Schwarzenegger so I guess that's why it was $120 more. They did a real good job on the face. It looks just like Arnold Schwarzenegger. As you can see. They didn't do too good. I mean, the body looks good, but the flow of the polygons just aren't good. You want to see this? There you go. Well, so, but I still like to look at this guy, and, but obviously this model of turbo is just a lot better. You look at the back, he's got so much more detail in the back muscles than this guy does. The legs, there ain't much detail in them legs on this model. This model has a lot of detail in the legs and everything. Oh, and I designed new boots. Right there. I don't know. What do y'all think? Y'all think they look better than the old ones? These are the old ones I had on them. I think they look better. But, I don't know. I'm just showing y'all what to deal with. Giving you a look at what I made them from right here. And well, what do y'all think? Is, there, is it a big enough difference to y'all that y'all can tell in between these two models? Just wondering. Well, I probably use both of them more than likely. But... 
problem. I, uh, there's one thing I have a problem with this guy's is his wrist. I'll show you this. Well, it looks all right. There's certain poses where the wrist just doesn't look right, like right there. It looks kind of funny. Oh, I've already smoothed this guy, so he's moving super slow. But, yeah, whoever designed this model, whoever designed this model of turbo right here knew what they was doing. Real good. Whoever designed this model sure knew how to design a face, but they sure didn't know how to design the body. But they knew how to do it better than me. Most, The best thing I've ever been able to make is Larry the Gator. And that turtle and the dragon, I couldn't make Turbo's body yet. I'm working on trying to get to where I can, but yeah. Whoever made this model right here, if you're watching, I'll tell you, you did a good job on it. And I wish I could make a model like that, but well, this is just a look behind the scenes. This is the unpicked one. Y'all take it easy.